Hey everybody, welcome to day two of Operation Open Fire. So last night, I didn't get to finish these Americans, but I did get um, a few more details put down. Um, wood for their guns, the straps on their guns, um, the metal on their guns, their gloves. So really, I just have faces, um, a few other detail colors, and touch-ups. And these guys are ready to get washed and done. So they're they're really close to being done. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for the quality. I'm, uh, hopefully tomorrow's video, um, I might even do some pictures that will show them in, in better light, better quality. Um, but yeah, these guys are coming along really nicely. Um, day three will be Wednesday. Let's see, then that gives me uh, just about four days to get the Amer the uh, Germans done. Yeah, we'll be good. I will, I will totally finish this, this week's uh, oath. Um, my goal for this week. Um, I'm calling it now. I called it the other day, but I'm calling it now. So these guys are almost done. And today's question is your first f uh, painted mini. Well, I'm gonna kind of cheat because um, I, I guess I've been I've been playing minis since uh, War Machine came out, and uh, that's when Andrew and I got into minis, and that's when I really started painting. When I started painting or playing uh, War Machine, I bought a whole bunch of guys. I kind of painted a few, but I never finished a model, really. Fast forward a couple of years, we started playing uh, Warhammer. Um, yeah, I, I got a few more things painted, blah, blah, blah. But I never fully finished painting model. That is until, let's see, uh, January 15th of last year, 2012, I fully painted... Um, my very first model from, uh, and that, that means like base completely done and washes and highlights, well not really highlights because I don't usually highlight but I washed it and this is a completely painted model, completely finished and this is technically the first one. Um, I would have finished uh, a couple of years ago, I would have finished uh, Seamus for, also from Malifaux but he didn't get um, you know good washes and highlights and, and a nice nicely painted base. He was he was mostly done, almost there. But this is my first fully painted guy. So um, this is Santiago Ortega for Malifaux from the Guild, and I can't find the mini. I think he's upstairs somewhere. He's got to be around here somewhere because I don't know I don't know where else he would be. So I'll get him for tomorrow. So I want to get those uh, those those points, those extra bonus Warboss Tay points, so um, I'll get them for you for tomorrow, but that's him. Um, and if you haven't been to my blog, 10-4 Miniatures, I should plug it now. This is 10-4 uh, Miniatures, T-E-N-4 Miniatures.wordpress.com. It's my, my hobby blog. I have not updated it for a while now, um, but I do have a lot of my work there, for especially for the last uh, year and a half. Um, you can see all my my uh, my ups and downs in in the hobby world. Um, I guess I'm gonna show this guy as well. You may have seen him recently. He's um the very first model that I that I painted, washed, okay, done, based, and I've flocked. Very first flocked model. So he's kind of special to me too. He's not the first model I painted, but he's the first model I I based with uh, sand and flocking that actually finished it all up so so that's pretty he's pretty special as well so I know I've shown him before and it's on my blog too you can see better pictures but that's him I think he turned out really great too and he is of course the inspiration for for these guys so thank you that's uh, that's day two um, on to day three later everybody